Welcome to Ag Dealer TV. As you can see behind me, sprayers are out in full force right now. It's that time of year again. In the last episode, I had a chance to take a look at the newest technology available from John Deere. In this episode, I get a chance to talk to a couple of product specialists from Case IH and find out just what the new 50 series Patriot sprayers, which were introduced about a year ago, have to offer. Take a look. I think one of the one of the neat things we have coming to market is is the single display using the new AFS uh, Pro 1200 monitor. Um, being able to capture all of our as applied maps, um, all of our data going through the field that all of our customers and our retail guys are used to, we now have the ability to do that with the Pro 1200, but with an API that we have with Slingshot or Raven we have the ability to transfer that, that information from the cloud back and forth between the, the two uh, digital worlds on so whatever they would like and prefer to use in their application um, day to day, um, they'll now have the ability to do that. So that's that's a huge one out there. Um, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of different things as far as technology on the sprayers that we're doing. Um, the ability to use AccuTurn and AccuSync are a couple of really, I think, high selling components on the sprayers today as far as technology in, in the sprayer industry. Can you Accu explain what Accu AccuSync yeah. is? Yeah, AccuSync is basically when you have multiple vehicles running in the same field, they're sharing data back and forth between the two vehicles in near real time. So as one sprayer, say, sprays over a certain spot, it will send that, that coverage information over to the other sprayer. And as it comes across that as applied area, the shutoffs and everything will work and just like the, the single sprayer solution um, would, and it'll shut those off and turn them nozzles on and off where it needs to be to save from over applying or under applying in, in areas. Um, also the ability to share the, the guidance lines back and forth. So they're running on the same guidance lines. So they don't have to, you know, in the old world, we'd have to take a thumb drive back and forth between the monitors. Now we have the ability to share that over the air back and forth between the sprayers. So all that information is in <clears throat> near real time. So everybody's on the same page through the field, just cuts down on a lot of the, um, the manual back and forth stuff that we had to do in the past. So that's, that's really a huge deal is time savings and convenience for the operators out there. AccuTurn is actually, um, at the end of the field, if you're familiar with the guidance line, as we're going and the, the, the autopilot takes control and we're driving down a guidance line going through the field, um, the operator's hands-free. They don't have to touch the steering wheel. As we get to the end of the row, um, now we can populate actually the turn at the end of, of the field so the driver does not have to touch the steering wheel to make that turn. And what that does, it actually pre-populates an exact turn to make that sprayer turn around at the end of the field. So he knows he's never coming off that guidance line. There's no guesswork in trying to have to make an exact turn by manually steering. It just turns all by itself at the end of the field and comes right back on to where it needs to be to head back the other direction, saving all the the stress and everything of where you got to turn to make sure everything fits at the end of the row and everything's in, in accordance there. Um, the sprayer just basically takes over and does it itself. It, it'll pop up on the screen. It'll pop up that it's about to make a turn. You just accept that and it does it all by itself. So right now with, with AFS Connect, um, we offer um, with all new products, um, a five year, basically free um, subscription to AFS Connect. So that, that includes all of your data, all of your as applied, everything goes directly to the cloud and comes back into um, a site that you go in and you create your own username, password, and you have your own account. So all that can feed directly into that account to be able to save all, all of your as applied and all of your tank mixes, everything like that that was applied on each individual field. No, you can actually take some of your old data and actually read it into um, AFS Connect as well. And have that 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 data stored in there as well. There's there's no real time limit as far as um, or, or size of files that that you can store in there. About every about every um, application out there, whether it be uh, 
you know, the competitors um, across the board, John Deere, Ag Leader, Raven, all those file types and sizes can be read in uh, right into Case IH and be brought in for the as applied maps. Then as a, an owner, do I get the option of going with AFS Connect or Raven Slingshot, whichever I prefer? <clears throat> So with our Patriot 50 series machines, as Casey mentioned, every one of those uh, will come automatically with the five years of AFS Connect subscription. The Raven Slingshot is really tied to whatever guidance package that you would select. So if they would choose uh, an RS1 guidance to work with their Viper display or uh, an SC1 to work with the ER Vector Pro and whatnot, uh, those we actually provide five years of the gold level of slingshot as well. So it's year for year between the two. And then as Casey mentioned, we have the API that allows that data to transfer from one cloud to the other. But another thing that we really don't talk about a lot is our remote display viewing. And uh, we'll have the ability to do that um, on the Pro 1200, where if you happen to have operators that don't really have uh, the experience out in the field, um, you as a as a person in the office or somebody on their on their iPad out in the field can actually remote display into that machine and see what's going on on a monitor. So if they have any hiccups or or any questions on what they need to do as far as setup or operation of that piece of equipment, um, you can just basically get in there and walk them right through the button pushes on what they need to do to be able to keep going. So. I think that's a huge feature in today's world where, you know, we've got so many different operators and so many different pieces of equipment out there on the farm. Um, it's, you basically can get, you know, whoever we need to into that sprayer to keep it rolling and, and keep, keep them moving um, just through remote display viewing as well. So I think that's a really a key feature that we, we have as an offering as well.